sky looks nice, Meg. Yes, the clouds kind of breaking up a little mm -hmm. bit. Look, they'll continue to do that throughout the morning, making way for sunshine this afternoon. It is also going to be blustery, so we're going to have a cold front that will move on through. We could see wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour this evening. As for how it's going to affect our temperatures, well, they are going to be plummeting overnight into the upper 30s, so oh so chilly. Lynn? Four people are being treated now for smoke inhalation after a house fire in Baltimore County. Ron Matz reports it happened last night in Essex. Good morning, Lynn. It was just before 8.30 last night when neighbors spotted smoke coming from this house here on Russell Frost Court. Neighbors were able to get inside and rescue an elderly woman. Three Baltimore County police officers got to the house before firefighters. They had a fire extinguisher and tried to put out the fire in a back bedroom, but the smoke was too thick and all three were hospitalized with smoke inhalation. The elderly woman is listed in serious condition this morning. The cause of this fire here in Essex remains under investigation. I'm Ron Matz reporting from Essex for WJZ. A fire investigation this morning in Baltimore City. Units responded to a two alarm fire in the 1100 block of Holland Street in West Baltimore just after midnight. Two people were taken to the hospital. The extent of their injuries is unknown. There are two confirmed cases of the flu in Maryland. An adult and a child in central Maryland and the eastern shore are the first to be affected this season. The CDC urges anyone over six months old to get a flu shot.